Sampling music is an art form entirely on its own. I think people should embrace it rather than listen to people who just go about yapping. Oh, you are sampling. You're winning with sampling. Nobody really cares. You can win with samples. A very good example is SWV. One of their notable records is Be Right Here. It's a sample of Michael Jackson's Human Nature. And you know the sweetest part of it? They reviewed this in 2021. They didn't even get to pay for the sample. So when you sample some setting classic or some records, and the owner, original owners, he hears it. I mean, you're basically creating value chain for the song. I mean, in this age where every digital digital records has their own footprint where they can align and you can get royalties and the likes it goes a long way also recently this one is even out of maybe pop now let's say rap hip-hop in doja cat dropped a record recently paint town red i mean if you check it's maybe top three comma most commercial records she has going on. I mean, the song is up there. Paint the town red. The samples, the temple, it and samples the on weeks walk on by. And so a lot of people went on and were trying to interview the original owner of the song. She said the thing is amazing. She made good comments about it. And so here's the thing. When you sample, a lot of people do not know the on week. They do not even know walk on by so now you're basically making people go listen to the original song compared and as an artist you get this sense of feeling because i mean you created something else from an original piece which appreciates and creates value for the former record I, i've seen this happen i mean there, there's a whole lot i've seen Bonner boy do it effortlessly i've seen mode knight do it so there's this song by prince nikon baga that's um think aki something aki special i've been listening to mode nines um is this song uh, lagos state of mind yes lagos state of mind it samples the guitar riff from that original song i've been listening to that song since 2007 i've never heard aki special before I might have heard it before but i'm not aware of it so later on i read and went to check the cd rack and i saw credits given to samples used and all and i discovered so i i went on to get aki special so he created value now i'm fully aware of that record Bonner boy has done it there are a lot of people doing it but i know there will be more people who can actually do this thing but because of the fear of uh, ah you are not this it, it, it is wrong Chris Brown did this thing like back to back. Even Chris Brown even sampled human nature. So I, I I feel a lot of people should embrace it. Instead of fighting it, you're basically bringing generations, decades apart together to make an art form. We're always talking about how good Daft Punk is. A lot of Daft Punk, Daft Punk songs samples like even two pack two pack changes two pack changes is a sample from bruce Hornsby and the ranges the way it is the same melody the same stuff the only difference is just somebody else taking the hook and it's still the same flow so we should embrace this in fact there's also um jack Harlow, a sampled um, Faggy, Faggy's Glamorous, picked something from Faggy's Glamorous. If they performed on stage together with it, so when we look at things this way, we get to go higher because there is a whole lot of unnecessary competition, and some of those things kill art. Music as, as an art form allows you to express a whole lot of things, it is it cuts across time, it's supposed to be free. But there are a whole lot of formulae data around the place. If you're not making music freely, it messes the whole thing up. So what I'm going to say to you is today that sample away. Do what it is you can. But try to get clearance. Look for a way to get clearance. Before you talk to one or two OGs on the street, you'll look for a way to get clearance out of it. You'll create value chain for that record it will introduce you to an older generation or a certain generation which is totally different from the ones you currently serve and tentatively 
you have an amazing record doing fine commercially you can perform that's the beauty of it 